How's everybody doing today? Uh, my name is Sean Fawcett. Today we're going to be showing you a basic install for a front door window using 32% Matico film. As you progress in your install methods, you will learn other methods to install the film, but today I'll be showing you just one method to install the film. So let's get started. Now before we get started, these are some of the basic tools you'll be using for your install. There are many tools available to you, so please consult your Matico Distributor Center for a full list. For today's install, we'll be using Matico's 35% charcoal window film. I'm going to roll down the window just a little bit. Give it a spray. Come back with your squeegee. Give it a squeegee along the top and all the way down as far as you can go. Then give it a wipe up along the top edge and then down. Then roll the window back up, give it a squeegee, finish off the bottom, and then wipe down your edges. And now that your window is clean, you're going to come back with your tape measure. You're going to measure it out. You want to cut it a little bit bigger than the window is in size-wise, and this is going to be roughly 34 inches. You measure, go over to our cutting table, and cut a piece of film. For this install, we're going to be cutting off a 40-inch roll. Since we don't need a 40 inch roll for the side windows, there's a little trick you can use is to cut the roll in half. You take a razor blade, you're going to measure across the box 20 inches. You're going to apply it in at a slight angle. Make sure you get it in pretty good so it holds in place. Then you're going to come back, measure out your length. We said it was about 34 inches. Kind of lay down your tape measure so you can see where you need to stop. And you want to get the film underneath the blade and then slowly pull it up and out. You're going to grab your, your knife, give it a cut, put it off to the side and do the same thing with the other. And then you have your two pieces of film cut for your two front doors. to give the window a spray down to unroll place to film on the window and at this point you're going to determine on whether the film needs to be bigger or smaller that will be determined by the shape of the window from inside to the outside so we'll do a front cut down from the front tear the film away you can also do, we're going to get off some of the excess to get that out of the way also. Then we're going to come back to the back side of the window and we're going to cut down and then tear it away from the film. We want to lift up the bottom piece of the film, bring it down just a little bit so we can get it below the rubber when we do the install. We want to give a quick set on the film so when you open the door to roll the window down the window will not move on you, film won't move on you. We're going to open the door, kind of hold it back a little bit, give it to Brian, I'm going to come back and at a slight angle I'm going to take, cut along the top part of the window all the way across pull up and away from the window. Most of your side windows nowadays are going to be slightly curved, so the film is not going to lay nice and smoothly on the window. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the heat shrink method, and it's actually going to contour the film so it curves to the glass. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take your squeegee out. You want to set the back corner. You're going to come down, give a little bit of a tug down the back side of the film. Come across the top and do the same thing. A little bit of a tug. Come around and you want to set the film. And come down. Then you see the little fingers at the bottom. If you don't do this now, they can be a real nightmare after the fact. So we'll come and we'll get our heat gun. 
and you will put apply some heat to the finger and then slowly push it down work our way across start from the top to the bottom and just kind of working your way back and forth You want to be careful when you get to the front, you want to protect the front part of the film because if you hit it with a heat gun, you'll curl it and then it won't be any good anymore. We're going to take the film after we sprayed it down, lay it up on the glass, come back with our knife and you can use one of your squeegees or hard cards that you have so you can follow the line and remember a light cut now if it doesn't cut with a light cut it means your blade is dull i'm going to go ahead and break it off sharp blades remember sharp blades one cut one blade put your up there cut it off and it peels off much nicer now come back the other way and give it a slight little curve and then you want to come back to the front part and give that a slight little curve also. And then you're gonna take your film and flip it around and do the exact same thing to the other side. Kind of hold it up there, give a cut. That's not a bad cut, we're gonna do it this way. Then come around with a cut. Come and give the window a nice spray down on the inside. You want to make sure that there are no stickers or anything on the glass. If there are, you want to take your razor knife, your razor blade, and give them a scrape off. Now you want to take your scrubby pad, give the window a scrub down to get all the dirt, a little bit of debris off the window. Roll it down again so you can get to the top and clean along the edge. Give it a spray again. You're going to take your rag, give a wipe down to the top, just in case there's anything up there. You don't want it falling into the film. You're going to take your squeegee, go right along the top of the glass, and then come down and keep going from the front to the back until it's cleaned all the way across. Then you're going to take your sprayer again and give it a spray down the front down the bottom and then down the back side and then give it a spray. Now that we're back at our piece of film, give it a spray down on the outside. I'm going to take your knife, come to the edge of the film and you're going to tuck it in between the liner and the film and pull it down. As you're pulling, you want to give the film a good, good spray. And then give your fingers a cleaning. And then you're just gonna walk over to the car. Give the film a slight blow so the bottom of the film sticks, starts sticking to the glass. Keep the top from hitting the top of the window as much as possible. Then slowly bring it in and tuck it down and then just let it fall up so it gets to the edge of the glass. And once you're in that position you can look at your edges, make sure it's even all the way across from front to back. Then grab your squeegee, you want to hold the front part of the film, give it kind of a light squeegee across, not too hard. And then as you get toward the bottom you can give it a little bit harder squeegee to set the film a little bit better. All the while, you want to be making sure that it's not moving on you, so you can readjust it if you need to. Come back with another squeegee, and finish off your fronts, and then go up, squeegee the water from the top. Same with the back. Push it in, go down, up, holding the film so it doesn't move on you. 
roll it up. Push everything down. I'm gonna grab another squeegee so you can get down below, down below the molding, all the way across. Right down the door panel and then the inside. Don't rub too hard because the film hasn't set up yet. You don't want to move it before it does that. Then we're going to come back out to the outside of the window. Give it again a quick spray and so we can check for any imperfections, blemishes, stuff that may be underneath there that you need to get out before it sets up. I hope you found this very informative. If you'd like more information on training and also our products, please contact us. Mm -hmm.